Yo, what's good, YouTube? So I've been getting the question that um, is film photography still relevant? And you know, short answer is absolutely, yes it is. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased towards it. You know, I like. Yo, this only happens when I start recording. But yeah, man, like I was saying, you know, me personally, I just like the aura that film photography gives. And it's like a the warmth, the softness that like film photography gives off, you know, compared to digital photography. I think, you know, it's, it's a niche thing. And I think, you know, that vintage aesthetic has been, you know, very popular recently. There's a whole process that comes with film photography, you know, you know, you gotta buy the film, and the camera you gotta load the film manually or if it's a point and shoot you know you still gotta put the film in the camera thinking about the composition the aperture the shutter speed before you take a photo you only get that one shot you know you can't go back and delete it so it's a whole thought process for taking that picture manually focusing advancing the film with the knob all of these things make the experience of shooting film more engaging than digital photography with digital, you could just, and you have a hundred shots to choose from. So you actually have to take time to think about the shot before you take it. That makes the process and that makes the image that much more special. And then, you know, after you finish the role, there's a whole process of developing the film, whether you take it to a lab or you do it yourself with the developing tank, which I'm doing with black and white because I'm taking a film photography class. So. You know, I'm getting into that and I'm also gonna start trying to uh, develop my own color film, but that that's a whole nother process compared to black and white. You know, after you develop it, you gotta dry it, and then ultimately you gotta scan it, which I've also been doing with black and white. At my school, they have a couple of Epson scanners. I might get one for myself personally, but yeah, I think this is like a niche type of photography that not everyone is into, but the people that are into it, you know, they're like super creative, myself included. In this world where there's a bunch of digital, digital photography, digital cameras, um, iPhones, we still want to use film, which is like a, it's not antique, but it's like vintage. It's similar to people that still use vinyls to listen to music, you know, there's a whole process that goes behind vinyl as well, compared to like, if you just throw on something on Apple Music or Spotify. With the vinyl, there's a whole process as well. Buying the vinyl, buying the turntables, finding vinyls at the store. Yo, my nigga. Finding vinyls at the store, you have to intentionally set the mood for that specific album that you about to play. You know, when it's time to listen, you gotta take the vinyl out the sleeve, you gotta clean it, you gotta set it down, you gotta put the pin down, um, compared to just going on Spotify, press play, right? So I think it's a it's a niche thing. I think like film photography is like the equivalent to vinyl in the music world. And I would say like taking photos with your iPhone is more equivalent to like streaming because it's, it's easy to use. It's right there. You could do it in seconds. Film and vinyl are like vintage technologies that are they're a more engaging way to do the things that you love, like taking photos or listening to music. Getting started in photography, for me, started with an iPhone XR, terrible camera, but you know, that's the only thing I had. And then I got gifted a DSLR. It was a Canon T5i, Canon Rebel T5i. Shout out my bro, Adrian. You know, he gave me that camera and that kind of kick-started, you know, my interest in photography. I was trying to get the film look with that camera and you know, it just wasn't working. So then, you know, um, came across a film camera um, at a thrift store. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up here somewhere. But basically that was my start in film photography. I got hooked on it, but it's like, you know, it was a new experience and it's, and it's learning, you know, the basics or the history of photography. Now film photography is expensive as it's expensive. Buying the film, you gotta get it developed. Or if you develop it on your own, you know, you save, save some money, develop and scan it. But if you take it to a lab, it adds up. So 
I'm gonna start scanning my own film, most of it. Uh, but again, that's time consuming, but you know, it's part of the process. But yeah, that was my little tangent on if film photography is still relevant. Let me know what you guys think. Do y'all like film photography? Have y'all ever tried shooting film? But yeah, I have two major trips coming up and I wanna capture those on film. So first one, I'll be studying abroad in Senegal and I'll be out there for like about a month. So I'm gonna try to get as many photos as I can out there, you know, being respectful of the culture and everything. And then, you know, I have another trip planned to most likely go to Copenhagen in Denmark. Um, they got some nice photographable areas that I'll check out. Yeah, so those are two two things be on the lookout for. So yeah, man, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Make sure y'all subscribe, like the video if you found it interesting, you know, to help the algorithm too. But yeah, man, I'm gonna catch y'all.